Berkshire Hathaway reported record operating profits in the third quarter. Operating earnings from Warren Buffett's stable of companies came to $10.76 billion last quarter. That's nearly 41% higher from the same quarter a year ago. As for that closely watched cash ward, Berkshire now sitting on $157.2 billion. That's up from the high of $149.2 billion that was set in the third quarter of 2021, and I think it's up $10 billion from the year ago numbers. Berkshire's Class A shares are up by about 14% this year, but they're off from the peak that was set back in September. If you were looking at uh, the flat-out earnings, the, it, it reported a loss, bigger than a bigger loss than a year ago, but that's because of the stock investments that the company has. It's, um, you know, he always says, strip it out, look at the operating earnings, whether they're doing better or worse, and that will tell you what the underlying companies are doing. But both of those things, number one, is the, the stocks haven't, it's been a difficult market, and number two, he obviously must think that it's not a great time. Well, the biggest reason that they had such an increase in cash, more than $1.1 billion came in just from the treasuries that the company holds that are now making money versus not making money. $1.1 billion, and you're talking about $150 plus billion, dollars, aren't you? Well, they had, a, they had a lot of that. Before. I know. You, you I know. build up an additional. But the other thing that was very strong for them this time around was the insurance operations. Um, Geico turned to a profit. And you had their insurance, their basic reinsurance and insurance operations uh, performed even better. And that brought in a like big he, amount he, of cash. Railroad, seeing, not as strong. He's not seeing anything. He, he's dying no, to no. buy right now. No, but they, it does mean that they've got like a, a very substantial chest. You know, he, he always likes to have a certain amount. I think it's something like $60 billion in cash on hand. But that still gives you $100 billion to play with. If we hear that he puts 10% of that in Bitcoin, that would be a big headline. I, that would be a really big, that would be a, that would I help don't the, believe it headline. That would really help the that would get. I mean, that'd be yeah, that'd be even bigger than an ET than a spot happen. ETF. Just hope springs eternal. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> cracks open a Bitcoin standard or something. Might happen. You never know. No, I, I, pretty, I pretty much do. It will. It's it will not gonna anything is going to get together with Larry Fink. <laughs> well, right? yeah. and, um, well, it, there. Well, no. How that happened though? How'd Fidelity? But what in, really, as we go through life in, in 2023, would anything surprise you this year ever that, again? I, yes, that would that, actually. That would. Yeah, that would. I would say no. Yeah. No, I think the world is. I think it's tilted on its axis. I think it's insane right now. I think something's wrong. I think we may go flying off into the cosmos. The whole. I wouldn't planet. argue with you there.